Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know, TCS NQT exam are starting from 15th of March. Okay. So guys, we on Code Bashers channel have decided that we will every day we will bring you videos related to TCS, wherein each and every section which is getting asked in TCS NQT exams will be covered here. Okay. So in this particular video, we will be covering the numerical ability questions. And in future also, there will be a lot of videos coming on this channel which will cover different different sections of this exam. Okay, all the questions which will be discussed in these preparation videos are previously asked TCS NQT exam questions only. So the best way to prepare for TCS NQT exam is by solving the previous year questions. Okay, so I hope this thing is clear to you and every day we will try to bring you with a new section video. So guys for that make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every day you will be getting the notification okay that okay th uh, this day we have uploaded this section and so on we will keep on uploading so make sure to be present on this channel make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and guys we have a dedicated telegram group for, for 2025 batch students wherein each and every company which is coming which is coming for mass hirings for 2025 batch we are covering everything every doubts we are clearing in this particular telegram group this is dedicated for 2025 batch students. The link of this Telegram group you will find in the description box as well as in the i button. Okay. So now let's start this video. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Okay. So guys, the first question is: A shopkeeper bought the lamp at rupees 1200, and the ratio of its cost price and the marked price was 3 to 5. It was sold after two successive discounts of 30% and 18%, and it incurred a loss or profit of X percent. Find X. See, it's very simple. When we buy a good, it's cost price. When we sell a good, it's selling price. So the ratio of cost price to selling price is 3 is to 5. So CP divided by SP is equivalent to 3 by 5. Okay. So now, what it is saying? See, cost, cost price is given to us. Now, what is the relation between cost price and selling price? It's 3 is to 5. Cost price is given to us as 1200. So 3 into X is equivalent to 1200. Okay. This is the cost price. What is the price of one unit? One unit is 400. Okay. Now we have got the price of one unit. Now uh, here 3 represents the cost price, 5 represents the selling price. So now what will be the actual selling price? So SP is equal to 400 into 5. That is 2000. Now, but this is the actual selling price. But what? But uh, once the selling price is done, we are giving two successive discounts of 30% and 18%. So let's just find now. So 2000 into 30, uh, we have given a discount of 30%. What is the value remaining? It is 70%. Okay. So it means 1400. Now again, we are giving the 18% discount. So on 1400, we are giving 18% discount. What is the value remaining? It is 82%. It will be 1148. Now, see, we have bought a material at 1200 and we have sell, sold it at this amount. So is it a loss or a profit? It is a loss because we have bought it. We have sold at a less price than we have bought it. So now what is the percentage of loss? Percentage of loss is cost price minus selling price. Okay. Minus selling price. Okay. Divide by the cost price. Divide by the cost price. Into 100 to give us percentage. It will be 4.33%. 4.33% loss. So this is the B is the correct answer here. I hope this question is clear to you. Now let's move towards the next question. Okay. So guys, the next question is a fraction becomes 2 by 3 if 1 is added to its numerator and 2 is added to its denominator. Okay. This is the first statement. If 2 is subtracted from the numerator and 5 is added to its denominator, the fraction becomes 1 by 4. Okay. So these two equations are given to us. Let's just quickly write these two equations. Okay. For saving time, I will, I have already written these equations. Okay. So see, let's suppose our numerator is X and denominator is Y. So what is the first equation? First equation is numerator plus one divided by denominator plus two. It gives two by three. This is the first equation. So this will be solved to this one. Three X plus three, two Y plus four. Simple. Second equation is from numerator 2 is subtracted from denominator 5 is added this give us the result 1 by 4 again solving this equation it will give us this equation now we have two equations 3x minus 2y equal to 1 4x minus y equal to 13 now two equations we will solve to get x and y so for this solving we will get x equal to 5 y equal to 7 
now we have found x and y but what we need to print as output okay so see if 3 is added to the numerator and 1 is subtracted from the denominator then fraction becomes now we need to find the fraction now we know what is the numerator numerator is 5 so 5 plus 3 as given in the question okay what we have to do we have to divide it by denominator minus 1 denominator is 7 minus 1 okay what will what this will give us it will give us 8 by 6 what 8 by 6 will give it will give us 4 by 3 so 4 by 3 is the correct output of this particular question i hope this question is clear to you now let's move towards the next question of this video okay so guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that on our top mid page of code bashers we have tcs nqt exam preparation material 2025 okay in this particular material we have all the sections covered that are actually coming in the tcs nqt exam you can see here verbal ability numerical and advanced quantitative reasoning and advanced reasoning advanced coding questions all these sections are covered in this particular preparation material all the questions discussed in these sections contain previously asked questions from TCS NQT only in a well structured PDFs. If I will show you some sample PDF, if I will open let's suppose TCS reasoning question, you will find that we have the proper question, we have the proper option and the answers also. All, and even if you will open this verbal ability also, all the PDFs you will open will contain the questions, the options and the answers. And guys, all the sections that we are discussing, all the questions that we have discussed in this material, these are previously asked TCS NQT exam questions only. And we know that from 15th March, the NQT exam will be starting. So previously asked questions are the best way of preparation for the TCS NQT exam. So if you think then that this material can help you in your preparation, then you can check out the links are in the description box and it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 and the access is also lifetime. So the links are in the description box as well as the pinned comment. Do check out this preparation material on our top net page. So now let's continue with the video. Okay, so guys, the next question is 15 men and 20 boys can complete a work in 15 days. 20 men and 35 boys can complete the same work in 10 days. Determine the efficiency of boys with respect to men. Simply, we have to find the ratio of boys divided by men. Okay, efficiency. So let's just quickly solve these two equations. Two equations are given to us. So for saving time, I have already written the equations. So what are the equations? Equations are 15 men and 20 boys can do a work in 15 days. 20 men and 35 boys can do a work in 10 days. Now two equations are given. We just need to solve for the M and B. So here B will be 375. After solving these equations, I hope you know how to solve these equations. You will complete multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3 and based on that, you will find B and M. Okay, B and M you will find and then you will simply divide B by M. So 375 divided by 750 it is 1 by 2. So the correct option is 1 by 2. So I hope now this question was clear to you. It's really simple. You just have to solve the equations. Okay, so guys, the next question is A and B are coming from opposite directions. A starts at 10 a.m. towards B. B starts at 11 a.m. towards A. The speed of A and B are 40 km per hour and 50 km per hour respectively. At what time will they meet each other if A and B are 100 km apart initially? Now guys see, the total distance between A and B is 100 km, right? Now A starts at 10 am and B starts at 11 am. So how much distance is covered? First we have to find out that how much distance is covered between uh, from 10 uh, am to 11 am by A. Okay. Then at 11 a.m. B starts. Now at this point total distance between A and B what is that? Based on that we will find that at what time they will coincide with each other. I hope this question is clear to you. Now I have already written the code. I have already written the solution here. Let me just iterate you through. So line by line. So first of all A starts at 10 and B starts at 11. Distance covered by A till 11 it is 40 km because it is running at 40 km per hour in a single hour. Now total distance remaining will be 100 minus 40 that is 60. Okay. Let me just do it a bit up above. Okay. 60. Now, now A and B are moving in the same direction. So when we move in the same direction, our speeds get added. Okay. It's basic formula. So total speed of both the cars will become 40 plus 50 that is 90. Total distance that is remaining it is 60. Okay. Now we have to find out the time at which they coincide. So what is the time? 
टाइम इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड सो डिस्टेंस इज सिक्सटी डिवाइड बाय स्पीड इज नाइनटी सो इट विल गिव अस पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सेवन नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड इट इन मिनट्स सो हाउ मेनी इन हाउ मेनी मिनट्स आर देयर इन अ सिंगल आवर सो इट इज सिक्सटी सो वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग इट बाय सिक्सटी सो वी आर गेटिंग फोर्टी मिनट्स सो वंस बी स्टार्टेड एट इलेवन एम सो आफ्टर फोर्टी मिनट्स दे विल को इन साइड सो वट इज द एक्जैक्ट टाइम इलेवन फोर्टी दे विल को इन साइड आई होप दिस क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर टू यू guys if you are finding this video informative make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do write in the comment section that yes you want more such type of videos we will be happy to make it okay we will more get motivated once you hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do jo do join our telegram group that is dedicated for 2025 batch students okay now let's move towards the next question okay so guys the question here is what is the diameter in centimeter of a solid right circular cylinder whose height is 6 cm and area of the curved surface is 5 times the combined area of the two flat surface see for solving this question you will need to require the knowledge of formula so imagine a cylinder okay cylinder has three parts two are the flat surfaces okay above and bottom on which it stands and then there is a curved surface also on which it rolls okay if you have seen the cylinder it rolls so you need to find the diameter given the height so you need two formulas here one is how to calculate the area of the flat surface and another one is how to calculate the area of the curved surface okay so i have already solved it just like before question so let me just show you that so height is given to us as 6 cm the curved surface area formula is 2 pi rh the area of a flat surface is pi r square okay now what is saying the relation is given curved surface area is 5 times the combined area of two flat surfaces so curved surface area is 5 times is 5 times the area of two flat surfaces so 5 2 into flat surface okay so now the combined uh, formula becomes 2 pi r h is equal to 10 into pi into r square so we will solve this equation we will get 12 is equal to 10 into r so r will become 12 because h was 6 okay h was 6 given earlier so r becomes 1.2 and we need to find the diameter so r is 1.2 so diameter is 2.4 so 2.4 is the correct answer for this question i hope this question is clear to you okay so guys the next question is how much percentage is 0.025% of 240% of 0.1.5 of 0.9 so yeah this is very confusing i know let's just pick up one by one and try to solve it first let's just solve this bracket so we need to find what is the 0.025% of 240% of 1.5 so first let's solve 240% of 1.5 so what is uh, 240% of 1.5 so 1.5 into 240% this will give us 3.6 now we need to find out of this 3.6 we need to find this percentage so we need to find this percentage so 0.025 into 3.6 oh sorry percentage sorry this is the percentage uh 3.6 into 0.025% this will give us 0.009 now out of this we have find out okay it is 0.009 here it is written how much percentage is this of this okay how much percentage is this of this we need to find so we'll simply do 0.0009 divide by 0.9 okay into 100 because we need to find the percentage so it is 0.1 so answer is 0.1 i hope this question was clear to you please hit that like and subscribe button for motivating us for making more such videos and do write in the comment section that on which section we should make the next video okay now let's move towards the next question of this video okay so guys the next question is the cost of filling a gas tank at a shop is rupees 800 if the shopkeeper reduces the price by 15% the number of his customer increases by 30% by what percentage did his revenue decrease or increase so let's suppose the current customers so customer current customer were 100 okay this simple now currently the cost of filling a gas tank is rupees 800 so cost was 800 so currently how much he was earning he was earning 800 into 100 this is 80000 this was his current earning now what the question is saying if you decrease the cost of fuel by 15% so 
so what is remaining so 800 into 85 percent is remaining so now the cost of fuel is 680 then the customer will increase by 30 percent earlier the customer was 100 now the customer is 130 so now the cost is 680 but the customer is 130 how much is the now uh, how much is the total co total uh, things that uh, total price that the uh, shock giver is getting it is 680 into 130 equal to 88400 earlier he was getting 80000 now he is getting 88400 what is the percentage increase here what is the percentage increase here so if you will look closely it is approximately 10% of it 10% of its revenue got increased 10.5% so this is A is the correct answer here that is 10.5%. I hope now this question is also clear to you. It's really simple. So guys, these are all the questions that I need to discuss in this video. If you want any more sections, any more questions, you can always write in the comment section. Please hit that like and subscribe button because every day we will try to come up with new videos on different sections which will contain previously asked questions from TCS and QT. Okay, do join the Telegram group that is given in the description box. And if you are interested, do uh, do purchase that TCS NQT preparation exam preparation material. It contains all the previously asked questions of TCS NQT. It will help you in preparation. Thank you for watching this video.